Distribution yields are a seemingly easy to understand attribute of investments, making them a focal point for many investors. The salience of yield is no secret to financial product manufacturers, resulting in products being marketed based on their high distribution yields. The part that's often ignored, though, is that distribution yields and investment returns are not necessarily the same thing. Many investments with high distribution yields have low expected returns when total returns are considered, not to mention the potential for tax inefficiency. I'm Ben Felix, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital, and I'm going to tell you why investments with high distribution yields can be misleading. Investment products, including mutual funds, ETFs, and structured products, are often marketed to investors based on their yields with no regard for or indication of their expected returns. This is problematic because distribution yields do not necessarily have any relationship to expected returns, and empirically, many investments with high distribution yields have performed poorly for investors. The Ontario Securities Commission recently published an issue-oriented review with their observation that some funds have been marketed as having yields as high as 15%. I'm looking at you covered call ETFs, which is a problem not because it's factually inaccurate, but because it is emphasized over other aspects of the fund's expected return profile. When investors see a 15% yield, they imagine a 15% expected return. But these two things are not the same. In the case of covered call funds, most of the yield is coming from option premiums. But writing options on the fund's holdings gives the right to a third party to purchase the shares in the portfolio if the stock rises above a certain price, which means giving up the upside of the stock. The result is a lower expected return than the underlying stock portfolio despite a high distribution yield. It's easy to see that the large yields targeted by covered call funds have not been related to their realized total returns. Take HMAX, the Hamilton Canadian Financials Yield Maximizer ETF. It targets a 13% yield, but its total return since inception in January 2023 has been negative 4.69%, underperforming Canadian financials. Or a more extreme example, the Yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF has a distribution rate of 60%, but a total return dramatically below the underlying Tesla stock since inception. For a fund with more history, the BMO Covered Call Canadian Banks ETF has a 10-year return trailing the underlying holdings despite having a much higher distribution yield. A similar observation can be made in structured products where high headline rates of return, which are like the best case scenario for the product and resemble a yield, are unrelated to the product's expected returns and realized returns, but they're used to attract investors. The demand for structured products is largely driven by their yields with little regard for their expected total returns, and less sophisticated households are targeted by banks issuing products with high yields. Similar to covered calls, the result is that investors looking for yield end up unwittingly investing in assets with high costs and low expected returns. Juicy yields are also used in regular equity mutual funds to attract investors. Some mutual funds intentionally buy stocks before dividend payments, artificially driving up the fund's yield. Again, investors love it. Funds with juiced up dividend yields see larger inflows and seem to be most attractive to unsophisticated investors. Chasing the juicy yields is expensive for the fund's investors due to turnover and increased taxes, estimated at 0.57% to 1.52% in added costs per year. Distribution yields are not investment returns. They're not sufficient to assess expected investment returns, and in the way that they're used to market financial products, often to unsophisticated investors, they are often misleading. Total returns are what matter to investors, including to investors who need an income from their portfolio. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben Felix, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with the people in your life who obsess over the distribution yield of their investments.